Hey everybody and welcome into Clear in the Benches. Well, if you like controversy, grab a cup of your favorite beverage and a box of your favorite snacks because today I'm about to tell you not only where but why both Alexander Ovechkin and Sidney Crosby could be traded at or before the March 8th NHL trading deadline. Before we get to that, I want to give a quick shout out to our sponsors over at SunshineGirlsAZ.com. I've ordered three shirts from them personally. I've got 10% off by putting CTB10 down in the code. All three times the shirts came, they were exactly what they were supposed to be. They fit nice, the packaging they came in was nice, and they came in a timely manner. So go on over and check out SunshineGirlsAZ.com. I'm sure they've got something for you. So let's get right into it. The possibility that Sidney Crosby and Alexander Ovechkin could get traded in the next two weeks. Now, before you tell me it's blasphemy, it's never going to happen, let's go through history here. Some big names that have changed teams, okay? NBA, LeBron James, Michael Jordan, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, all have changed teams. Hockey, Wayne Gretzky, Gordie Howe, Mark Messier, and Yarmir Yager, nine times have changed teams. Uh, baseball this winter, Shohei Otani just you know, change teams. Babe Ruth changed teams. Barry Bonds changed teams. Uh, football, last year you had CMC got traded. Um, Joe Montana got moved. Jerry Rice got moved. So it's not like it's, you know, never happened in the past that a big name guy has gotten moved, okay? So I'm going to start off with Sidney Crosby, okay? And I looked at all of the teams that I think he would approve a trade to and I think it is a very very short list same with Ovechkin and I'm sure a lot of the same teams would be on both guys lists but in reality in my opinion I'm going to tell you where and why I think both of these guys are going to wind up Sidney Crosby when it's all said and done I think Crosby is going to get traded to the Tampa Bay Lightning Okay, and now the reason I say that is because they've got a great coach, a great general manager. They've got Hedman on defense. They've got Vasilevsky in the nets. Uh, down the center position, okay, you, you would have Crosby, Stamkos, Point, and they could move Sorelli over to the left wing. So um, down the middle... You would be locked up. Now, in terms of what would you have to give up to get that? I look, Tampa Bay is, you know, their cupboard as far as the draft goes is pretty slim pickings. I would look at the best scenario for them in a good return. A Pittsburgh would be happy. Tampa wouldn't mind giving it up. You're going to have to give up two number ones, in my opinion, to get Sidney Crosby. You know, he's... Still got this year and next year at $8.7 million a year. So that's not like some crazy outlandish number. You know, I'm sure that Tampa Bay could make a move or two if they had to, to create some space if necessary to bring him in. But I definitely think with just the pedigree, Tampa Bay, you know, they're all in and they're going for it. And I just don't think it would be fair to Crosby, you know, that's an aging team. And that whole thing with Carlson, and in my opinion, even bringing back Malkin just didn't work out. And, you know, Crosby strapping that team on his back, and they're only going to go until he runs out of gas. Um, I think if you put him in a situation like Tampa Bay, you know, they've got big name guys. They've already won the cup a bunch of times, you know. And it's not like they're going to be intimidated by having a guy like Crosby coming into their room. I'm sure Vasilevsky, Stamkos, and Hedman, you know, would be able to keep their jitters in order. So in my opinion, and, you know, you look down there, Tampa, you know, it was good enough for Tom Brady down in Tampa, so I couldn't see it not being good enough for Sidney Crosby. Um, what would they give back? I'm going to just say the two number ones. I looked at their lineup, um, anybody that, really Pittsburgh would um, want in return. It's just a bunch of guys they've got locked up at big term down there. You know, they've got guys, uh, you know, Kucherov has got three more years. Point, Sorelli, Nick Paul, 
All of those guys are signed through like the end of time. They got uh, Hagel signed through 2829. So um, Crosby would, you know, have this year and one more year. He could even, you know, make two kicks at the can. So I'm going to go out on a limb and I'm going to say the Tampa Bay Lightning would be where Sidney Crosby, if he got traded, would most likely wind up. Alexander Ovechkin, the Washington Capitals are an old team. I looked at their lineup moving forward. Uh, they've only got a couple of guys like Tom Wilson and Strom locked up for, you know, any amount of term. Everybody else is kind of you know, got a year or two left and they're coming off the books. Um, that, in my opinion, Ovechkin's just playing to try to catch Gretzky. And, you know, what better place for that to happen than Los Angeles? Okay, so I'm going to say that Alexander Ovechkin, if he got traded, would wind up in L.A. with the Kings. Okay, you know... You got guys there who've been around the block and Rob Blake and Luke Robitaille. Luke Robitaille knows a thing or two about putting the puck in the net. So it's not like these guys would bring in Ovechkin and be starstruck about him. Um, I think the lineup that he would move into on the Kings, you know, you got a lot of guys on that team that are just good scorers. Um, you know, you got Kempe, you got Fiala, they've got... Andre Kopitar, back end, you know, they've got Dowdy. That would be a pretty potent power play. Um, what would the Caps want in return going the other way? Uh, I looked at the Kings and, you know, another thing I saw was Ovechkin's signed for two more years through 25-26 at $9.5 million a year. Uh, I think going the other way, I'm looking at a guy just didn't work out for them. Two guys could be Alex Turcotte or Arthur Kaliev. I would think it would probably be more Kaliev. I think at this point he's got a little bit more upside. Um, but that would also, you would need to throw a number one in there with that. And, you know, depending on uh, what the Caps were asking for, you know, it might even be a prospect down the line. You know, who knows? They may ask for Brant Clark. They may say, give us Clark and a number one and we'll do the deal. But um, again, you know, Wayne Gretzky got traded to the Los Angeles Kings. What better of a place for Ovechkin to put the spotlight on himself? You know, the guy's an entertainer. He likes to perform. You know, every once in a while he gets glitzy at those all-star games. What better of a place than L.A. for Ovechkin to chase Gretzky's goal record, the place that Gretzky did it himself. So in my opinion, if you look at it, I think the best possibility in terms of like cap space, in terms of movement, um, I think Vancouver's already done making moves. I think Edmonton likes where they're at right now. I don't think that they would want to bring in such a big name guy like Ovechkin. It could kind of rock the boat a little bit. Um, but as far as for these two, I could definitely see Sidney Crosby being traded to the Tampa Bay Lightning, and I could see Alexander Ovechkin being traded to the Los Angeles Kings. Uh, let me know what you think down in the comments section. You know, Let me know if you think either of these guys is never getting traded, or maybe you think that they are getting traded, and let me know where you think they would possibly go and you know what the uh, return might be. So... All right, let's get on to our second segment. This will be a quick one today. We're going to do the Celebrini sweepstakes, and it would be what line would Celebrini play on if your team got lucky enough to win the NHL draft lottery? Today, we are up to the Buffalo Sabres. A uh, huge disappointing year. I know a lot of people thought they were going to the playoffs, myself included. Uh, if you told me that they were going to have the disappointing season that they had, I may say you're crazy, but it happened. Um, I look at if Celebrini were to come in, okay, you got a lot of different variety here uh, as far as, you know, the types of guys that he could be playing with, you know, uh, Cousins, Krebs, Tux, those are big body guys, you know, then you got smaller guys, you could put them out there with Benson. Um, I think if Buffalo were to get lucky enough, you know, again, to win the number one overall I think Celebrini would be a good fit there, and I think that would be the one 
guy that could put them over the hump, and not only for next year, but get them back in the playoffs on a regular basis. So let me know what you think. Um, if you think that Buffalo would be a good fit for Celebrini, if they did get him, what line do you think he would go on to? Um, again, I think if Crosby were to get moved, Tampa Bay Lightning, I think if Ovechkin gets moved, LA Kings. Let me know what you think down in the comments section. And as always, if you could hit the like, and I believe the subscribe button is over here, I would greatly appreciate it. And as we always do here at Clearing the Benches, let them know you're out there.